painting and mural murals in Himalayan art have three uh, subjects, three uh, main subjects. The first being figurative, the second narrative, and the third diagrammatic. Now, figurative is somewhat per pervasive. I mean, we have that in both narrative and, and uh, diagrammatic. But diagrammatic <clears throat> is different in that we have uh, very clear subjects in the beginning. We have, uh, well, basically we're, we're telling stories and, and we're depicting stories that come out of the uh, Sutrayana literature, uh, some Mahayana literature, uh, and then later materials. So first we have the, the uh, Jataka stories. These are our previous life stories of the historical, historic Shakyamuni Buddha. And then we have the Avadana stories, which also include uh, his, his life, not just his previous life, but his life and his, uh, some of his students' lives and how they intersected. Then we have, uh, we can have the, uh, some history of Tibet type narratives. Those are relatively late. Then we have uh, Nepalese narrative scrolls, which uh, can be both Buddhist and and uh, some variation of, of Hinduism, Shakta, Vaishnava, Shaiva. Um, and then we have uh, another another uh, subject is uh, life stories. Life stories generally don't come about until quite late in in art. We we do see a few uh, early. Uh, uh, examples, but the majority uh, are, are quite late. Uh, so we're looking at, um, at uh, 16th, 17th, 18th century. And uh, then we have many. We, we have very many of these. But of course, of course the first and foremost uh, life story is the Buddha. And uh, this, this one we have uh, from early on. Often we have the, the Buddhist life story uh, depicted in registers and then surrounding that are possibly the Avadana uh, or the, the Jataka stories and then the Avadana stories. Um, but later on we begin to get uh, Tibetan uh, life stories. We get Milarepa, we get Tsongkhapa. Um, and then we, we have life story depicted in a single composition, and then we have life story that can be depicted over, over a, a series, over a, a set of compositions. The, the main set for uh, Tsongkhapa is, is 15 paintings. For uh, Milarepa, I believe it's usually, uh, it's usually 19 paintings uh, for the most common Milarepa life story done as a set um, from really from the uh, 17th, 18th century. Most likely a Kampagar Drupakagyu uh, uh, composition creation. So now another important topic, an important point with uh, uh, narrative paintings is whether or not there's a large central subject, such as a Buddha, if it's a Buddha life story, or whether there's no large central subject at all. And this can be the same for a single composition or, or a series of compositions in a set, where you have either a central, large central figure, or no large central figure. Uh, what you have is you just have a, a continuous narrative, a running narrative of small uh, uh, figures and small vignettes uh, in some sort of, of series and order. Uh, so this is basically the, the uh, uh, narrative painting and the key subjects.